Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching 46 Okanen, and last time we finally satisfied all the conditions. We can go into the cave, which is probably a maze of some sort, but they said it gets dark. So we want to take a bunch of lefts if the... Okay, where does it get... Okay. Well, the cave doesn't seem that bad. We just follow the glowing walls, really. Okay, so some places are... Hmm? You heard a distant sound. That tells me we're on the right track. It sounded like someone was howling further in. You clearly heard someone's voice. Okay, so I think we're doing well. I don't need these Gaia hearts. Someone is breathing nearby. We must be getting closer to Lucifer Tyranno. Someone is kicking out a funky kick drum beat. You hear footsteps. They sound fairly large. They're getting closer and closer. Whoa! That is a monster. In a dark corner of the cave, you see him. That's the coolest looking Tyrannosaurus I've ever seen in my life. Kind of Charizardish, actually. Pterosaur wings growing out of a massive frame, easily over 20 meters in height, with fangs sharper than any carnivore you've ever seen, peeking out of his maw. But the sad funeral music is playing, so there must be something tragic about his existence that we might be able to help him with. Maybe if he meets an equal like us. <laughs> Are you lost? Because you're about to be found in my mouth. His deep voice shook the walls around you. It's been many years since I've had someone to talk to. Not even other Tyrannosaurs will come near me anymore. Well, there's a good reason for that, though. I regret this. Ah, yes. So the Lucifer Tyranno chose the path of extreme evolution. And became unable to make friends. Said that this would be the era of power. Well, Lucifer Tyranno is about as powerful as power gets. Are you afraid of me? You're too kind. You're the second being to ever speak to me without fear. The first, I assume, being Lucifer. Oh wait, the first was called Terran. He promised that he'd tell everyone that I'm a really nice that I'm really a nice guy. See? Everybody needs a friend. That's a good lesson here. However, I feel like that means we're not going to be fighting this thing. I'm happy for that. Hey, you. I want to thank you for meeting with me. Hopefully this pitch will lead to a movie deal soon. I'm sorry, but it's feeding time now. Don't worry, I don't eat meat anymore. You would have to eat a lot of vegetation to support a frame like that, I think. I only eat fruits and nuts, even with all this muscle. I managed to lose some weight with my new diet. <laughs> Boy, I should think about going on a diet. I just got food poisoning twice in one weekend. And let me tell you, it was rough. I think I'm done with... I think I'm done with all the crap. I think I might go on the Lucifer Tyranno diet. Come by again sometime. Let me know if anything's bothering you, and I'll lend a hand. If I can stretch it out to... Okay, so, uh... So we pop out the other side here, and what happens? Lucifer is probably angry because, uh... I didn't want to... I didn't want to go back in the cave. As nice as the Lucifer Tyranno was, I do not want to return to the cave. So I'm going to keep going. Lucifer is probably very angry. A volcano erupted. I received 184 genes. I don't think I'm actually fully evolved yet. Okay, yeah, I can pump it in this direction. Yes, I'm done there. Alright, here's a lone dinosaur out on the edge. What are they? What are they looking at? Oh! Oh, yes, here's the real Lucifer to be afraid of. The small mountain in front of you suddenly started to move. It was a Lucifersaurus that was over 30 meters tall. Now that, you know, I'm not a paleontologist, but I think Lucifersaurus might be one of the fake ones that was created just for this game. Call it a hunch, uh, but I think I am Lucifersaurus, a servant of Lady Lucifer. I am stronger than the Lucifer Tyranno to the east. I am the strongest creature ever. Looks like a muscled up Brachiosaurus. By order of Lady Lucifer, I am not to let you pass to the Northwest Continent. Turn back now or be crushed beneath my feet. Oh. Well, uh... Well, we can sit here and heal, maybe, but... If I challenge the Lucifersaurus... Uh, will I get in a fight? Oh, hey. Oh, th this time it's got a life bar. Turn back now or be crushed beneath my feet. So, Lucifer has ordered me... Okay. So maybe this is where I ask a favor of the Lucifer Tyranno? Let's go back in the cave here and see what happens. 
An enormous Tyrannosaur greeted you warmly. The friend that I made. Okay, blocking the road to the Northwest Continent? That bastard! The Lucifersaurus doesn't realize he's been deceived by Lucifer yet. Okay, so now we leave the cave together. We're gonna have a double battle? Yeah, I need you to get out of the dang way. <laughs> friendship. Friendship is for losers. Losers like Lucifer Tyranno now, apparently. Puny beings are not our friends. They are slaves. Yes. Hit him with the Kirk speech, Lucifer Tyranno. I can't believe I'm hearing this from you. You, who are feared by all. In this case, I was blessed with this land by Lady Lucifer. I wouldn't even let an insect get through. Maybe if I gave you some, uh... Maybe if I introduced you to a friend named Benjamin and his friends Benjamin and Benjamin, would you let him through then? I guess I have no choice. So they're going to have an epic clash told in still shots. Lucifersaurus reared up, raising its forelegs threateningly towards Tyranno. Tyranno glanced briefly at you before diving at Lucifersaurus's chest. It's going to sacrifice itself for me, isn't it? The roars of both beasts mingle together. In one cacophonous bit of nonsense, Lucifer Source stood on its hind legs, trying to strike at Tyranno from above. That's right, get the high ground. If the prequels to Star Wars taught me anything, it's that you need the high ground. You've got wings. You should have the high ground at all times. Tyranno snapped at Lucifer Source's throat three times. When Tyranno's jaws clenched on his throat, Lucifer climbed on Tyranno's soft belly and crushed it. But Tyranno kept his jaws clamped to it. Both massive lizards fell to the ground, embracing death. Quiet slowly returned to the area. Your old friend Tyranno, who you've known for all of five minutes, lay on his side at your feet. Boy, that's that's true friendship. Somebody who will do something like that for you after knowing you for five whole minutes. That's incredible. I wish I had a friend like that. His face and death seemed to be one of satisfaction. Oh, hey, baby. You soon noticed a shimmering being that had appeared before you. That's the that's the final boss theme from Evo, sort of. Kind of an arrangement of it. It was a being that walked on two legs and had seven glittering wings. Hear me, child of the earth. I am the creator of this planet and the universe, Lucifer. Uh, that's not quite the way I remember hearing it in Sunday school. I've been watching you and all the others from the heavens. I have chosen you. What say? Will you do my bidding? Absolutely not. Get thee behind me, Satan. Oh. Her face changed colors, did it? Did she change to the angry color? This is expected, I suppose. You're truly... We probably could have gotten a non-standard game over if we had said work for her. But I'm just kind of interested in moving this along at this point. It appears I have taken your kind too lightly. Fine, then. Next we meet, you and this world will disappear forever. Gaia, prepare yourself for the final showdown. This is the end of all things. <laughs> she disappeared suddenly, leaving behind her eerie laugh. Okay, so now we move onward to uh, across the big bridge. Wow, there is a lot of water here, but I am able to go through it. Ah, here we go. A volcano erupted. That's a volcano because that mount word came out of my mouth all weird for some reason. I am evolved in every possible direction I can be evolved in now, so any random event at this point just serves to hurt me. Like that! We don't want that happening too often, but we need a we need a play I see I see something off to the left. I think that's where I need to get to. Okay, this game is determined to kill me through random Ah, there's the big end of the chapter right there. Let's see, if I go out here. No, I can't go out there. So I'm just gonna have to go around, maybe sit still for a little bit, and hope that I'm not subject to the whims of, you know, random of oh hey, a an Archytyrannosaurus Terex. Ah, there's Terran, a pursuer of knowledge. Lucifer Tyranno is a kind friend. Yep, the Elder is gone. Lucifer Tyranno is gone. Well, no problem. I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but uh, 
Yeah, sure, there is something you can do to thank me. Actually, at this point, there really is nothing you can do to thank me. Literally nothing. You can tell me how to get around to the Gaia evolution, though. Which is right here. You didn't need to tell me that at all. That guy's just going to be sad for the rest of this era, I guess. Gaia is crying to... Boy, everybody is sad. Lucifer Tyranno must have been just a really cool guy. Something terrible is on its way. The devil has finally summoned the great king of terror. My beloved child, listen well. The great king of terror will kill almost every single creature on this planet. And not even I have the power to do anything to stop. That must be the asteroid that kills all the dinosaurs. That must be the so-called great king of terror. One of these times I'll get it right with that guess. Something has to be the thing that kills the dinosaurs, right? Oh, no, Gaia. It's okay. Let it out. Let it out. Everybody's gotta... Everybody's gotta... Cry sometimes. It's not good to bottle up your feelings. Let's prepare a shrine on the continent to the west. If the devil misses, then that shrine should be safe. Tell all those you meet of this. That way we will, can at least save as many as we can. So we're gonna go off to a shrine westward of here now. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna tell Terran about it. How about that? I wish there was something I could do to thank you. What? Oh, yes. So I am cleared to reveal this information to people. This has been declassified by Gaia herself. The Western Shrine is safe, and the Elder prophesied this as well. Okay, hold on to me. So Terran is gonna take me over the mountains. Okay. I will tell as many as I can about the Western Shrine and the coming apocalypse. We will save as many as we can. If you could do that, that would be excellent. Because I don't want to run around doing that. So, let's see. I want to... Okay, so... Where am I now? I think I'm in semi-familiar territory. Uh... Where do I go from here? There are... Okay, yes. Very good. I'm not maxed out on jeans, so I'm just grab. Okay. So maybe I need to go in this cave and tell these people, Hey, there's something coming. Is that the idea? Okay, this is a new area with new creatures. What are they? Triceratops. We don't allow entry to thugs or allosaurs. Well, I am neither. The great King of Terror? Uh-oh, yeah. I think you'll let me enter when I have news like that. Yeah, there you go. I too was touched by a mysterious light. I think I know where to find paradise. The protected western shrine is supposedly in the mountains, far, far to the west. But the land around it is quite harsh. They call it Hell's Stomach around these parts. Boy, I've been feeling Hell's Stomach lately. On top of that, there's a herd of brutal allosaurs living near the entrance to the mountains. Be careful if you do head west. I'll be heading there myself sometime. Well, I don't think you guys are going to be able to take on an allosaur troop, but... You know, sorry for not having much faith in you, but I don't think... I don't think it's going to go too hot for you. You from around here, stranger? <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Yeah, it's it's hilarious. Yeah, you, well, you stand here and keep propositioning men that come around. Uh, we're all going to head out and save our own lives. we got to look out for number one here. Boss Tricera lives up in head. Even the Allosaurs living in hell's stomach run in fear at the sound of his name. So is this like kind of equivalent to the part of EVO where you go to the mountain and and you fight the ten Tyrannosauruses, and then the apocalypse happens, I have not seen any children from your tribe. You should probably have some better daycare in place if you're gonna, if you're gonna do that. Why did I run off to the left? I, I'm not looking for anybody. I'm just gonna talk to this guy. Am I just like talking in like sentence fragments and huffing and puffing out of breath? <laughs> oh no. Oh, the boss triceratops doesn't. I'll take him out with one stab of my horns. Well, I appreciate your hubris, but I think it's going to be the end of you. That's uh you should probably you should probably take this a little more seriously, you and your female friend down the way. Okay, so we've warned them. Uh, now where to? This is probably Hell's stomach right here. Oh, yes, here we go. Lots of dead bodies sitting around. I cannot feed off the dead bodies for health, but... Okay, here we go. A line of Allosauruses. Are they going to let me through? I kind of doubt it. 
<laughs> yeah, I am some kind of snack. Not in the way you mean, though. Give it about 4.6 billion years and it'll mean something else. And that's the joke I'm making. But right now, it doesn't make any sense. You came here knowing full well where the hell's stomach allosaurs? All right, they're about to West Side Story me. They're gonna come up snapping their fingers and there's about to be a, there's about to be a turf war go down. I can't even eat someone so disgusting. Don't come back. Is that a game over? Wow, boy, they just straight up kicked me out, boy. Well, I am not okay with being part of their club. I thought I was pretty powerful and could take them on, but you know, maybe they're just, maybe they're just a bunch of giant jerks. Maybe we have, oh, hey. Tricera's child is drowning. You saved Tricera's child. I was just playing and all of a sudden, if you're heading to the west, then you should visit my village. Okay. All right. Well, maybe they'll take me a little more seriously. Okay, so that's the thing. You have to help out the Tricera child so that they take you seriously, so that they help you out with the line of Allosaurs. I get it. I see the thread now. That's the one who saved me. Yeah, well. You have to go through the Hell's Stomach Allosaurs? All right. Sounds like he's about to get horny. Trikes with me. <laughs> okay, this is a cool little procession they got marching through here. All right, well, I'm just going to stay behind them. This seems like they've got it handled. All right. Forward they go. I have a feeling this is going to be another battle of attrition where only I survive. We'll keep the Allosaurus busy. You head straight for the exit. You don't hesitate. You don't turn around. You just go. All right. Well, they are going to go down in glorious battle. Uh, escape. I'd like to be away from you, please. I I guess theoretically I could fight it, but he said to run away, and I'm going to do exactly that. All right, here I am safely on the other side of the mountain. We have passed through the Hell Stomach arc. Okay, so here we are. Okay, this place has been absolutely torched. Don't really need these, so I'm just going to... Okay, so if I go in there... Okay, it doesn't hurt too badly. But I have a feeling I probably don't want to cross through that. Can I even really get through it? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm just going to go up the... So now we're in Maisie Maze Town. Okay, so if I can... Wow. They got me with, uh, they got me with directions. This is how they're going to get me. Okay, so what are you... Hey, you. You know something terrible is going to happen here, right? Well, places that are on fire generally tend not to be the safest, but wow, there is just, man, I could have gone through this chapter without evolving and it would have been probably, probably fine. How many, okay, there, okay, there's just jeans sitting out everywhere, but they're not for me to collect, weirdly. Uh, that makes sense, though. All right, let's navigate this maze here and... Let's just try to concentrate on getting to the important bits of it. So here's another guy's heart. Okay, well, I could collect it. Okay, some of them I can collect and some of them not made available to me for whatever reason. I guess I just wasn't hitting the... Okay, can I go... Okay, I can navigate that. That's interesting that I can go through that. Yeah, so I can just get a load of jeans. 1,508, but did my counter even go up? That was... Wait, did I just end up on the other side of this thing? That's weird. Okay. Well, I'm going to go as far up as I can. Can't see. See, I can't seem to get to this. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, my count did go up. Eventually, I'll hit something and... Okay, why am I going back down the mountain? That's That doesn't seem intelligent. Okay, so... Where is the good door? More jeans. Okay, so 2,000 is the max for this... For this era. Let's see, where to go from here? This looks pretty top of the mountain-esque. Hey, oh yes, I wanted that cave, but I can't get past that light. Well, ooh, <laughs> let me roll up my fake hyena sleeves. Leave it to me. A voice reverberated in your mind. There it is. It's time to evolve. So we're gonna go, we could go downward. I think Usually attack is the way I go, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to probably take a dive straight down into being a 2 pie. What's a 2 pie? 
Just in time, the great King of Terror descends. You've earned enough experience. It's time for a great evolutionary leap. Allow me to lend you my power. After your evolution is complete, go into the depths of the cave. A Tupai is a 15 centimeter carnivore that eats insects and spiders. It's nocturnal and it inhabited the Quaternary Era. A kind voice reverberated within your mind again. Everyone is waiting. In the depths of the dark, damp cave were countless different species of living creatures. I'm glad you've all gathered here. The time has come. Close your eyes and cover your ears and you will get a nasty surprise. The surface of the earth is about to be destroyed by, by a bad touch. Show me... The earth needs to show me on the doll where the great king of terror touched it. Pray with me. Pray that this location won't be found by the great king of terror. I don't hold out a lot of hope, quite honestly. Several thousand tons splitting the skies open. It leaves a long, glittering golden trail behind it. All of the heavens above burned golden as it disappeared beyond the horizon. Ooh! That's gonna leave a mark. And those are some evocative pictures. Let me tell you. <laughs> I think if that event had hit me randomly on the map, I think it would have been bad times ahoy. And Lucifer, she just luxuriates in the ruin. <laughs> ruin. Death. Beautiful is the moment when all matter is destroyed. Death. It is the shared fate of all. Annihilation is the true providence of nature. More, my great king. She seems positively orgasmic with joy. She's getting off on hearing the cries of the living on this planet. And even Gaia herself. <laughs> How amusing. <laughs> Gaia, now do you know my power? This planet is now dead. Deader than a doorknob. The skies were painted red and the dust blocked out the sun and stars. No breaks in the dust cloud could be seen anywhere on the world. Herds of starving and injured dinosaurs moved beneath that seemingly eternal dusk. How far will they walk? I think it's going to be quite a migration. The sandstorm that engulfed the entire planet captured the heat of the sun, causing abnormally high temperatures. Most living creatures went extinct, and a dark despair engulfed the planet. At length, the darkness began to rapidly lower temperatures on the surface, leading us into what will no doubt be Chapter 5, The Ice Age. The devil believed that the world was dead and departed for distant space. However, however, this planet was still alive because Earth perseveres. And with that, we head into disc four. Worth noting, there are only four disc images to this game, so we are in the final run. I think there's probably going to be six chapters. I can't imagine the Ice Age being the last one. So I think there's actually going to be an additional chapter in this game. So that is our stopping point for the day. Join us next time when we move straight into chapter five, the age of ice.